Ja, så today I visit uh, medieval farm at uh, Trondenes uh, together with uh, Robert, my uh, my childhood friend, who uh, will appear in the background in the, throughout this video. So uh, let's uh, get set up and uh, start uh, taking pictures. This is the part where I forgot to charge the battery. <laughs> Always bring extra batteries. Always lose them on the ground. To uh, any uh, future subscribers, the only thing I can promise you is an enormous amount of fuffery. Okay, um, here's my wobbly composition. Um, we got the house, the Viking house here at Trondnes, and the, the trees in the background, the dark sky, and uh, some modern building here that will magic <laughs> by magic disappear. <laughs> and uh, and here's the shot. Yeah, so uh, we're getting set up again to uh, try to get uh, the same picture from a different angle, which is a good idea, basically, if you want to take some pictures. And, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to get another angle here. So, uh, yeah. Nah, I just couldn't make it work, but uh, yeah, well, that's uh, life, so uh, I basically just uh, moved on to uh, find another way of uh, for capturing the area, basically. Um, so that's what I did. <laughs> Yeah, so today we are at uh, Trondenes uh, Historical Center, uh, where this where they have built up this medieval farm um, near the site where uh, Tore Hun gave this received the spear Selsavnen, which killed uh, Olav Haraldsson at the Battle of Stiklestad in uh, 1030. The, the king was later known as Saint Olav, uh, and uh, yeah. The people here are Kingslayers. I'm one of them. Uh, <laughs> so uh, we're trying to get some pictures. It's snowing. Uh, it should be good. Whoa! Yeah, the joys of winter in Arctic Norway. <laughs> Did I mention Fuffery? Okay. 
Okay, <laughs> this is so unsteady due to the snow, so I have to have my hand on the tripod or it will fall over. Um, uh, one fifteenth of a second. So. So, moving on, <laughs> and uh, you can see my, my, my buddy over there, my, my old friend, uh, and uh, we're here at the, the Trondenes church now, and uh, we'll try to, to get some pictures. It's, this thing was built uh, in, the, in 1250, around that time, and uh, it's got some walls and battlements to keep uh, Vikings and uh, Russian raiders, another riffraff away. <laughs> uh, we have moved a little bit, or I have moved a little bit. Um, uh, so we've got that church in the background, and uh, we got the sea, and uh, yeah, there's some stuff behind me that uh, I would like to, to get some pictures of. You can't see it right now, but uh, we'll go lower down and it will reveal itself. Oh, I will Norway and snow. Yeah, down to the beach. That's where I always end up. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna walk along here and uh, get in position to uh, for once not take a picture of the church which is from 1250 um, and it's the northernmost uh, surviving medieval uh, building in uh, in the world but uh, instead I'm going to point my camera the other way because I spotted a nice red little uh, boathouse across the bay. So I'm, uh, I'm trying to get a panorama with uh, the boathouse, the red boathouse over there. And, uh, and uh, with uh, the kelp here in, uh, in the foreground. And, uh, and uh, yeah, basically a panorama. So I got the, the camera set up in uh, portrait mode. And, uh, I'm just gonna take a series of pictures and stitch them together. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, out with the ancient uh, Tamron lens, probably made in the 70s, what year, I don't really care, uh, but it's sharp. <laughs> so, but uh, Sony, um, 
if you hear this uh maybe you would like to help me out with uh, a better lens than uh, this 50 year old thing or what it is I have no idea uh so i for the for apple yeah but. There you go. Yeah. yeah, one of the good things about these um, these um, mirrorless cameras is that you can just use a converter and just put on any old lens uh, on your camera, which is amazing. Which it gives you access to so many lenses and options, and uh, you can even put on an ancient thing like this. No problem, it will work, <laughs> but you will only have uh, have a manual. Uh, this is a manual lens, so but uh, you will have the aperture here and uh, not on the camera. That's easy peasy. That's what happened to Okay, uh, time is up. Um, you can't spend the day <laughs> outside like this uh, always, uh, as long as you want. So uh, time to go home and edit some film. Um, so uh, this is it from uh, from Trondenas today. Uh, see you next week. <laughs> oh, like and subscribe. <laughs>